Sup guys, we find ourselves back in the swamp-filled Louisiana shithole of Resident Evil 7. We have some unfinished business up in this bayou-based bitch, so let's get going with Bedroom, the first volume of the band footage videotapes. Also props to me because I totally nailed that goddamn intro, motherfucker. Hell yeah. And yes, that is the intro, Riku. Brady, thank you for the sub, bro. Fuck me, didn't have to do that. I haven't even started yet. The humor hasn't even gone through. Not that I'm funny. Clancy wakes to the musty stink of unwashed linen. Where the hell is this? Why is he in bed? Why is Marguerite Baker there? It takes a moment for the truth to hit. It wasn't just a nightmare. That woman caught him and showed something strong smelling under his nose. Oh, you have it on auto sub? Oh shit, bro. Thank you so much. Fuck. Like, that's even better than just fucking manually subbing. Holy shit. Thank you, man. Yeah, that was the intro, dude. Like, honestly, syncing those is a complete bitch. It's really hard. It takes a lot of effort, a lot of analyzation, and there's times where I get it to be almost as good as I want it, but not quite as good. You know what else is not good? Being served breakfast in bed by Marguerite Baker. You're off work at 2, so I'll talk to you then. No worries, bro. Hopefully work goes well. Jump up and down just yet. If yeah, what she said. Family, you Don't get too excited. Don't jump and up and down just yet. I know you still got work to do. Mm, that smells good. I can't place her accent. I don't want to say it's Louisiana because I'm sure people from Louisiana sound a hell of a lot better than that. It's a shit show, but you'll tell me later. Cool. Uh, okay, I'm pretty sure she's gonna strangle me to death or, like, spit in my mouth if I say other than oh, this looks delicious, so this, we're gonna do that. This looks delicious. So, really? I have never played these before. I have no idea what the fuck any of the DLC is. I have a rough idea of the two major DLCs, but I've never seen this shit before. You don't need nothing else. She's like, you want me to shit down your throat? Then eat that! <laughs> Yeah, she's a weird one. Okay, Grandma. Okay, so we have a spoon. How does she expect me to eat the soup with my fucking hand tied down? I can't even pick up the spoon. How am I collecting the spoon? I can't even... Like, I don't have any arms free. Oh, I guess that arm's free. Okay. So, instead of using the spoon to eat the disgusting fucking shit, which I'm pretty sure is human entrails and remains, we're going to actually pry ourselves out of our confines real quick. Wow, look how hard that was. You really gotta use some tighter screws, Grandma. What is that? Oh shit, I'm gonna have to like strap myself back in, huh? I see. So is there a way to tell when she's coming or not? Okay, the creeks didn't have anything to do with it. So I'm assuming this is going to be like massive trial and error status, but we'll see how it goes. Because if I have to hop back into bed, I don't know what the intervals for me to hop back into bed are, and I don't know what the uh, giveaways for her coming back into the room are. A strong pull might open it. Okay. See, I can't tell if that's thumping around coming from outside, or if it's thumping around coming from... whatever. Oh, are those spiders? Oh, lovely. What if I put the lantern here? What happens? Okay, I can't use that. Well, don't stick your fucking hand in the spiders, retard. Didn't think he was gonna do that. It's not Rachnera from Monster Musume. We're not putting our hands anywhere near any spider than that. Okay, so... Question is... Oh, this drawer opens. Same time as all the other clocks. Okay. So, do we have to just get, like, little bits of information and leave the room exactly how it was? Let's hop back into bed real quick, because I want to make sure that I look like a good boy when Marguerite comes back. Okay, I don't think she's coming, so I think we're fine. I'm pretty sure if she catches me, though, I'm dead. So I'm going to have to be careful with that. And it certainly looks like a key. Wait, so... So we have the thing for the clocks now, but this clock doesn't have anything going on. 
We can't spoon the lock open. Hmm. Where could we use the painting at? Maybe up here? Let's try that. Yeah. What did that do? Jack shit. Oh, because I'm stupid. I see. Now what? Okay, it looks like we have to get a smaller painting for that small square, but... Oh, that looks important. Lighter, huh? What would we use a lighter for? Maybe to burn away the spiders? Yes. No. You need something hotter. Well, I was sinking the lantern, but the lantern won't do. Hey, what's up, Spawn? Long time no see, brother. How's it going? Welcome to RE7 DLC. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing, so. Uh, can I pick up a candlestick, maybe? No, I can't do that. Okay. So what am I supposed to put here, then? Because it doesn't really seem like I have access to much else. Oh, wait, what's this? Some kind of door beneath the bed. Okay. Oh, that's right, I have to do the clock puzzle to get the bed to shift, I remember. Okay, I can't use the lantern and then... Hmm. Was lurking in your Alan Wake 2 stream? How have I been? I've been doing well. Alan Wake 2 is a bit of a shit show with the dodge mechanic, honestly, admittedly. It's not terrible. Like, it's okay, but, like, it's not... It's not bad. Okay, so now the drawer is fucked, so if Marguerite comes back in and sees the drawer, I might be in trouble. Huh. I'm just trying to diddle with everything. Like a 40-year-old man in an overcoat returning to a college campus. What the fuck do I do? If that's the case... Oh... Oh, so that's supposed to- I see. And now I can jimmy the lock to the clock open, yeah? With the clock hand, right? Yes. And I can use it as a clock lock pick. More like a clock unlock pick, but... Ah, there's my third portrait. Shit. Back into bed. Wait, did I have to shut the door? Did I just fuck myself? Oh, we have to... Oh, I see. Get up, Clancy. We got work to do, buddy. I can't let her see I've been out of bed. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So let's close this. Let's grab this. Grab that. How do I fix the drawer? I can't fix the drawer. Okay. Uh, is there anything else? What the hell is all that noise? Nothing. Okay, let's hope Grandma doesn't get mad. And, uh, we're just gonna wait for Marguerite real quick. Oh, wait, shit. Was one of the paintings already up there? They were, weren't they? I just Mario Party minigamed the fuck up. Hello? It's fine. No, it's fine. Now, hold on just a minute. No, it's okay. Room's fine. I did not put the lantern back. No, no, no. I'll be good. I'll be good. Oh. Lovely. Cool. Alright, my bad, Grandma. Oh, wait, did I fail? I think I failed. You better behave yourself now. Okay, I didn't fail. Okay, we're fine. I mean, I did fail, but I'm not dead, so I guess it's not as bad of a failure as it could have been. Okay, well that sucks. Okay, so we just gotta fuck up less. It's kind of funny that the only thing she noticed missing was the lantern. Firmly screwed in place. Okay, is there anything that we can use against that? Spoon? Oh, we just gotta use the spoon every time. I see. Just messing you up, I get it. It's been messing around with horror games as well. Been playing Evil Within series on the second one. The first Evil Within is a masterpiece of a fucking game. Especially for a Bethesda title. 
Oh, I see. Okay, so the room just resets if I fuck up. I see. Okay, so this is a trial and error simulator, but it's honestly not that bad, because you learn a little bit each time. Okay, so I did fail, but it, like, reset me, so now I know not to fuck with the drawer, right? No, because the lighter is gone, so I still have the lighter. That's weird. Okay. But now that I've screwed with the clock, the door should just open, yes? Yeah, it does. Okay. But where did my painting go? Okay, this painting is still here. And so are the fucking spiders, of course. But now that we have the painting, maybe we don't need to mess with the spiders at all. And now we should have all the paintings, yes? So let's put the tall one here. Let's put this one here. Let's put the circular one there. That gives me a straw doll, okay. And a sewing needle. So just in case Marguerite comes back. Let's take all this shit off the wall. What would the sewing needle do for us? Uh, there wasn't a drawer that I had to lockpick. Agreed, been loving using match mechanics, plus with flash bolts and hopping my potato, aim doesn't get me kill. Um, yeah, the flash bolts are definitely best for stunning enemies, and then just get as many physical kills as you can. That's exactly the way you want to use them. Okay, so I still have to figure out what the time is for the clock. Or was that just to get me the clock hand? So maybe my goal is not to do anything with the bed shifting over. Maybe it's something to do with this directly, but I don't know how I would understand the password for this yet is my problem. And if I can't do anything with the drawers anymore, I've already manipulated the clock. I, yeah, I would assume I don't go out of the room at all because my goal is to escape the room. So what do I do then? Or do I have to put the clock hand back on the clock? Oh, we use the sewing needle to transition the I see. Gotcha. Okay, that didn't do it, though. So how do I tell what the time for the clock is? Because the clock doesn't have a face to it, so how am I supposed to find that out? Oh, I'm stupid. Okay, 12-5. Okay. Okay, now I just gotta figure out which hand is which hand. But I think I got this right? Bam. Shit. First death granted darkness to the man from the west. As the man traveled on, he oh, gave of his flesh to four beasts of the earth. And when he arrived in the east, he was charred black with ardent joy. How do I get the bed to move backward to where it was? Yeah. That's how. Lamp goes back. I don't know if I have to put the portraits back or not. Hold on, do I have anything else in my inventory that's problematic? Wait, I can't check my inventory now. Okay, let's just wait for Marguerite and see what happens. I don't know if I have to change anything else. Because I closed the door of the clock, so that's fine. I'm pretty sure she won't notice the clock hand being replaced with a sewing needle. Maybe she will. Biggest pain for me was the invisible enemies from the first game? Yeah, they kinda suck. Also, Spawn, if you've not played Evil Within on its... I wouldn't say the highest difficulty, because everything just instant kills you on the highest difficulty, but the hard mode of that game is actually really cool. And I definitely recommend you check it out. They do a lot of things different. Sequences are changed, earlier enemies or later enemies are replaced, so they're shifted around. Uh, you gotta use the environment a lot more. Yeah, Akumu sucks. Fuck Akumu. Play the one before that. Uh, the part with Laura, there's a whole bunch of bear traps and new obstructions and shit, so it's really cool. No. You're having delusional visions, Granny. No, it's fine. It's exactly the way it was last time. Are you serious? Okay. I can't remember exactly the way the room was every time. My memory is not that good. Okay, so... I'm assuming you only have a certain number of attempts to be able to get out of this room. But once I know how to do everything, so this is just going to be a test run, I think. 
So it's purely as I thought. This is going to be sheer trial and error. And I hate that kind of shit typically, but like the concept here is fine. Like it's cool. As long as you can remember the way the room was, this isn't terrible, but like my memory, like I said, is not that good. Okay, so circular frame in the corner. That's what I forgot, and she noticed that, so I definitely gotta. definitely gotta be careful. Oh, Jesus. Okay, um... Let's not do anything with that shit. Let's take the fork. What can we do with the fork, then? So now we have a new instrument to use that we didn't have before. So let's take the lantern. Let's remember exactly the way this was before. But I'm assuming if I use the fork and the stuff, I'd die, right? That seems to be how this video game would work. If I'm using their logic, so... What is this? Oh, this is the poster from earlier. Want to try another playthrough on the next difficulty, but I'm streaming second game on Sundays. I see, yeah. Evil Within 2 is a good game, it's just not as good as the first. Um, the open world elements of that game do not mix in very well, and it's kinda doofy. Okay, so I gotta figure out the code for this, but I don't know how to figure out the code for that, if I'm being honest. What does the fork do for me? That's what we gotta figure out. 